I know it's depressing that I'm not doing Valentine's Half Month 6 this year since I ended up scrapping it due to overwhelmed and depression, but I decided to review one of the episodes from that scrapped schedule for today's video, since today is Valentine's Day, and to tell you the truth, me skipping out on this holiday for only just scrapping one video, I can handle making one video and possibly doing Valentine's Half Month 6 next year, but that's still a possibility depending on what happens for 2025 for me, but, we're, but 2024 has still started. The Valentine's Day episode that I'm picking is from Big City Green's Valentine's Dance. Well, Cricket is really against love, but that all changes once he sees basically love at first sight. Gabriella. He tries to avoid her at all costs and to keep himself occupied off of other things, but unfortunately, he can't be able to escape love no, lo no longer since that he's no longer immune to love. Okay, granted, when I say immune to love, I meant him not being into love and think all that is disgusting. But at the same time, it all changed when it came to love at first sight. When it comes to the subplots, Nancy and Alice are the chaperones and Alice prevents anyone from getting into romantic relationships while getting close to each other to the point that... She forces the teen to get out of the dance, and then when the teen found a phone outside, he picked it up while it was raining, and Alice said, Further. I gotta be real with you, this is one of my favorite moments from Alice. Tilly tries to shoot plungers at people to, in order to fall in love with each other, but unfortunately, it's not working out. And when it comes to Bill, He's mostly selling food at the snack stand, or the food stand. To tell you the truth when it comes to these subplots, I honestly found the chaperone plot a lot more better, and when it comes to the Tilly plot, it really feels like that she's just trying to spread joy and love, but at the same time, she hasn't hit puberty yet. I mean, even if she did, fell in love with an object, at the same time knowing full well that she didn't have any romantic feelings as the series progressed, she still hasn't hit puberty yet. That's just mainly my head canon of this show. With that being said, let's get into the character who officially hit puberty, which is Cricket. Now, I understand that when it comes to hitting puberty, there are multiple ways of hitting puberty, but when it comes to romantic feelings towards a certain character, this episode really feels like a demonstration of what a character like Cricket can't be able to handle new things when it comes to love for the first time. Even though that this love at first sight thing has been overdone to the point that it's considered a problem, for the, from this episode alone, it's an indication that Cricket isn't like any other child in this show. In Weighted Cricket, he wasn't into the romance once he saw the movie that he wanted to watch. And when it comes to this, it really shows to me that he is officially hitting puberty, all because of a girl that he found that love at first sight. And that girl, of course, is Gabriella. And considering the power that Cricket and Gabriella's character develop, developed as the series progressed while Gabriella is being just like Cricket when it comes to her date with Cricket. It really sums up that this show isn't really into shipping the characters together. And to tell you the truth, just because it's a good thing doesn't automatically mean like other shows like The Ghost in My McGee is considered bad while this show is better. Because as far as I'm concerned, I think that one of the reasons onto why they have Gabriella being just like Cricket in the dating episode in season 2 is mainly the fact that they probably don't have a direction on having the two characters kiss with each other. Either kissing on the cheek or on the lips. For me personally, if they have Molly kissing Ollie all over his face, at the end of season two, they will probably have that happen with different characters rather than Cricket and Gabriella, and it could happen when it comes to minors in this case. Whenever I see Gabriella in this episode, with her motivation is to ask Cricket out on a dance, 
it really feels like that they didn't have much attention when it comes to all Kalatol, especially when it came to all we when it comes to all Waton in season two. And I'm not talking about the Dane episodes because she has two episodes in season two. When I first watched this episode for the first time, I honestly thought that Gabriella is gonna be different than Cricket when it comes to her personality. Because in this episode, in comparison to the episodes afterwards, She's mostly sweet and calm, but in the following episodes, she's mostly she's mostly like Cricket when it comes to her being mostly disobedient and causing a mess at the restaurant that Bill took Cricket and her to. The fantasies that Cricket had involving Gabriella wasn't going to happen in the real world, but at the same time, it really feels like that. With this information in the following episodes, it kind of makes this episode mostly shallow when it comes to Cricket's love at first sight development. Even though the Cricket's fantasies involving Gabriella is supposed to be humorous, at the same time, it really gave me the indication that Cricket is really trying to be a lot more unique when it comes to his personality and his experiences. Believe me, with this show still going on, I always got the impression that if we're going to have another episode centering around him and Gabriella, it would have to be the two of them carrying the episodes on their own, without the other characters. Because at this point, it would be a lot more interesting to see these two characters interact a lot more and have more of their experiences with each other. And to tell you the truth, there's nothing wrong with Gabriella not being in love with Cricket, but at the same time, having her being almost the same when it comes to Cricket, when it comes to destroying the restaurant and being mostly disobedient, it's really difficult to find relatability and likability of her character. Well, Gloria, who really wants to dance with Kevin, and when she had a chance to talk to her, talk to him in the season two episode while New Year's was happening, it really feels like that Gabriella had the less development when it comes to the side characters in the show. I'm not expecting a lot when it comes to Gabriella, but at the same time, it really feels like that there's always going to be a missed opportunity when it comes to people who actually enjoy Gabriella and Cricket together. I know people cannot stand shipping when it's done terribly, but at the same time, there's no escaping when people are still going to ship the characters when they're into those ships. And to tell you the truth, when it came to the other shippings and other Disney Channel cartoons, it's honestly a highlight that people will probably adore the most than this. But at the same time, it's still slightly better than how Star Wars of the Force of Forces of Evil had handle shipping, but I'm, I'm still not against that from that show, no matter what people say otherwise. Despite my critiques, I still found this episode enjoyable and somewhat worthy to celebrate Valentine's Day today, despite with no Valentine's Half Month 6 this year. Depending on how I feel towards the end of this year, while I'm gonna be making the February videos, I might be able to do Valentine's Half Month 6 while doing the videos that I ended up scrapping for this year. But again, it's still a possibility that I'm gonna that I might be doing Valentine's Half Month 6 next February. I'm giving this episode a 7.75 out of 10.